subscribe and ring the bell. Yeah, he bets. Easy call. Yeah, you can call, especially when he bets like half pot. Three checks. You need to bet here because he never ever uh, checks with the queen on the turn. So he never has a queen. He either has a 10 and he check calling. He could find a call with some diamond draws, some ace three, whatever. I don't even know what he has when he isolates there. But you need to bet this turn when he checks. Mm -hmm. You're protecting your hand against aces, kings, diamonds, uh, any like any card that could hurt your value, uh, value getting from him. So you're getting yeah. you're getting called on the turn quite a lot on the river. I think you're getting called less, but with king ten he's still calling. So like with ten x he's still calling, but you also have the advantage to get called by some ace x on the turn, like ace maybe even ace five, ace four suited or so on. Not not diamonds, but any suited that he has mm -hmm. like when he when yeah, he isolates the flop. Yeah, it's is fine on the river as played. On the river, yeah, sure, sure. But I think I think you're getting more more value if you bet on the turn and then just and check not back giving a free card. You can even bet some very thin value on the river. If you like bet the turn, bet some very thin value on, value on the river, like one fifth pot or something like that. Okay. Because you know that he never has a queen. So it's easy, easy play. You can play perfectly. <laughs> so let's see this one. Uh, I'd make it a little mm, bit bigger, three bet size, like maybe even 88. <laughs> I, I think that if you three bet to 88 and he has pocket eights, he'll, he, he'll freak out. <laughs> <laughs> literally freak out but anyway like i three bet some like 90 here i guess mm -hmm. all right so check calling the flop probably it goes check check you bet the turn and this is a very nice bet because this is the only street that you're getting value on so good bet and five on the river just goes check check you could even find the bet on the river because when he calls the turn, he never like he, he never has a ten when he checks back the flop, so like players here are not that good, so he, they they don't use these small edges. So when like seven of clubs on the turn and total brick on the river, so like, he calls the turn. What he, what could he have? This is threes, uh, sixes, eights, nines, never jacks, never anything over, never top pair. So total brick on the river you could find a reason for check calling because he might be like bluffing his missed draws but i still go for very thin value on the river like one dollar here it goes a long way okay nice nice through bet nice through bet just check back on the flop i love it i love it playing perfectly playing perfectly uh, Kings just sucks for your range, and when he bets, I I think I fold because I'm I'm just way too way too much behind here. I don't I don't like even Ace Queen has a lot of equity against me. I'm he could have a lot of I don't know random King Ten Jack Queen Jack like queen only ten. yeah only hand yeah, that Queen I, Ten is blocked, but yeah true. But he he still has eight combinations of that if he calls Queen Ten offsuit or or like two if he only calls Queen Ten suited, which is usually the case. But yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. It's like easy three bet call it with seven eight. Um, mm, mm. I like depends if if the guy's tight. I like to call, but if he's if he's uh, looser, probably had a reason for this. Yeah, let, <laughs> let me just let, let's let's check it out. Usually I fold there because I don't want to complicate. Yeah, my life. I, I, I usually fold there. I'd it's kind of a definitely fuck my not life falling there me. all the time. You need eight seven suited. Uh. <laughs> uh. Eight seven or something clubs or spades could be. Mm. Clubs. Yeah, clubs. clubs. Uh, oh. mm. no, it's not this no. one. It's not Other this session. session. There's no filter here for hands.
Yeah, this is the one. This is definitely the one. 12% 3 bet. If he if he has 12% 3 bet, I have more reason to fold. If he has tighter 3 bet with 7 8 suited, I have more reason to call. Because I'm I'm probably thinking he's gonna 3 bet a lot actually of suited seven, broadway. Seven percent. Okay, from, from the from the big blind. Nah, it yeah. depends. I think it depends. No, big blind was fourteen percent. Fourteen percent. Out of seven seven tries, so not that many hands. But alright, let's say let's say it's not terrible to call pre flop here. So yeah, flop is just amazing. I to be honest, like this is the board that I love to just flat and just shove any brick turn. So like, I could I could fold aces, kings, or queens. I mean, how can he bet here? It's just oh, true. Like overpair, overpair. He just bets. Overpair. It's call. But I think betting here, I don't know. So just call over bet. This is a terrible turn. Um, if he if he bets and then checks the turn, like if he bets that flop, he has like maybe like I'm I'm thinking like Jacks plus or suited broadways. But when he checks the turn, he kind of gives up on the suited broadways. Like he never has them. So I'm thinking like Jacks plus, and I wouldn't bet here. I just take the free card. Mm hmm. Like to be fair, I'm I'm thinking like check calls with queens or something like that, and then like you and you're dead. You only have two you know, like club outs or an eight seven is not good. So you're gonna lose to pocket tens or something like that here. Or or kings. He played it well. Mhm. Mm like turn yeah, is the worst time. worst card to 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 bet on. Like three of diamonds, worst card to bet on. Uh, or I could go all in <laughs> on the river. Um, it's, it's yeah, but what what are you like? He's baiting two pairs, so I still think you're gonna get called quite a lot. It this is it is the worst card, like seven of spades. It does not look that menacing. You almost never have jack ten. So what do you actually have like eights nines such a narrow range you could even find a reason for calling kings there when you shove so like if, if the turn is a deuce of space then it's way better way better to bet and just yeah maybe even shove the river like for sure because you're now you're beating you're shoving for value but like yeah three of diamonds but i think kinds of stop the action misses, if a draw misses they almost always call so, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're dead here. All right. Let's see what, let's see what Pork Snowy says for preflop. I'm, I'm interested in preflop. What does it say for, for, for calling? It says like plus CD. All right. Okay. Plus, that's plus <laughs> 0 0.35. Yes, yeah, it's, it's still fine. fine still fine yeah it's interesting it's interesting to be fair so you're like on the flop calling or raising it says it's kind of like the same thing uh what if you shove flop what if you shove flop what's what's the ev of shoving flop no no on the flop when when you when you're supposed to not flop 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 what's yeah. ev for for shoving flop that says it's the same it's really supposed to be different <laughs> yeah yeah but it's fine Okay, yeah, and we see betting here. No, I'm Doesn't sorry, I'm just mm. you're, you're like on the turn. Like I don't it's ever it, think, I don't ever think that he bets the flop with a queen or a king or the best whatever. Line is really checking, yeah. Yeah. And the river. The river sure like check. I don't think shoving is close to checking. To be fair, because when he check calls the turn, he almost always has an overpair, and I don't think he's folding that. Especially with Mr. board, you're right, so. No. Alright, so aces, easy raise here, 2.5. Like, it's it's an easy raise because this guy just four, just 3 bet against early position. So he's, these guys usually don't mess around and like MP3 really bet. Big. Yeah. Really big. <clears throat> and he, he flashed the 4 bet, like he either has queens or kings. He's calling you off, so I just bet, bet. Yeah, but like 
it's interesting that you bet like one third. It's really nice sizing, not make him lay off kings, and then shove turn easy. And and he he actually folded. This is weird. Like he could have called with ace king on this flop. Can can you imagine? Like like he could you you made him call with ace king on this flop. That was so sick. And I don't think he ever folds kings on the turn, so you made him call with ace king on the flop. Congrats. Alright, so ace king, you get three bets. Uh it's nice. Nice, 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 nice. It it will say that raising is plus EV. But if this guy is is three betting only like Queens plus an ace king or Jack plus an ace king, why would you four bet? He never folds, so your blockers have no effect. And also you're getting it in wrong, so it's it just sucks. Yeah, it says like queens plus an ace queen. Yeah, and I hate calling with ace queen suited. Yeah, against against the tight range, it's bad. Against the wider range, it's really good. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. No, like, no, no. I don't. I don't. I don't advertise jacks. calling with sevens. About tens, jacks. It's probably fine. Mm. Yeah. True. True. It's. But it it depends if he if his three betting range is like and queens four per jacks, queens. five percent it's still not okay to to flat the jacks or tens okay it's it's hard to play post law like queen ace true. ten suited and ace jack suited always fold I think it's kind of marginal ace queen and king queen suited I'm flatting but ace ten suited is kind of marginal and you're out of position it's gonna be a nightmare to play the hand all together so. I just I, I give it up. I give it up. Okay. All, right, uh, all in. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like if you have stats, I could tell you something, but it's mm. Okay, and that that hand's probably too difficult to find. Okay. I think I think like I to, mean... to be fair, it depends on the player. I might call Okay, let's search this. <laughs> but it's it's close. To, we need close to fifty percent, and I don't. I mean, like you could have like I nah. Second thought, I fold. We need close to fifty percent. You could have any ASX here. Which why we're, we risk? We're basically sixty forty. We risk two point six. Two point six. To win. Uh, it's no. actually 5.4. 5.5. 5.4. That's 5 point. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 5. we need 4. or 48 percent. 5.4. Like that. Yeah. We need 50 percent. It's it's very close. Like that okay, one blind. It? Yeah. King queen diamonds king. So king queen against king queen against <clears throat> like any ace x is like at best 40 percent against any pairs at best 50 percent. So. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it should be like minus zero point ten. I think it says early position. You're supposed to be in the big blind. Can't really find it. I don't think it was this session. You need to scroll a bit down. We still have more king queens. Minus ten, minus ten, fold, fold. Maybe one of those two. Not this one. Nope. And this is it. This, this is it. Uh, Actually, my hands can't really tell anything. Any six, any pair, is like like some like forty five percent. You have equity. If he jams some weaker hands, then it's it's a call. But you don't really know that. With ace queen instantly, like ace jack ace ten instantly, but king queen is kind of mm. ace ten off even yeah. Yes, yes, yes. But king queen is behind those ace x's like ace two, <coughs> ace king. So uh, okay, side fold, <laughs> side fold. Yeah, it's it's like oh, I gotta fold. You like it's it's one of the spots where if you wanna if you wanna gamble then you can gamble. Uh, three bet you can flat in position with tens. It de it depends like depends on his three bets. I know he's short stacked, but you still have to consider his three bet. If it's small, then you can actually uh just mock tens there. If he bets this this big on this flop, I don't think he ever has ace king, so he has an overpair side so fold the tens. 
Okay. It's like I don't think he bets one eighty one with Ace King on this flop. And like pre flop action has indicated like like Ace King or Ace Queen or an overpair. So I just think we have we have kind of like the bottom perceived of of his perceived range. Like he's he has tens plus here. We have the bottom of his perceived range. We never beat anything here. Just mock it and just go on. Yeah. King Jack, let's see this hand. On your bike. <laughs> All right, so three bet. I'd actually just flat this because if you three bet, you're kind of folding some of his. If he's if he's loose and I'm seeing that he's like short stack, he might be a fish. Yeah, player. but no, I mean he's probably a fish. Yeah, you might know. you might want to just. Call. He's a potential fish, so I like to isolate. Yeah, true. You might might just want to call. So like, like yeah, sure, isolate, but with this hand you don't really need to isolate because it plays well multi-way. So the broadways play well multi-way. You can control the bot and so on. So like when you three bet here, it, it gets a lot more difficult with King Jack suit. King Jack offsuit, you do need that fold equity. You can three bet, but against this guy, high killer, I would even call King Jack offsuit. I would I would even call a lot of hands because he's fishy. So if you flop top pair, we can even even get two streets of value from second pair. So. It's kind of, it's kind of. And yeah, I decided to bet. Uh, you actually decided to bet. Interesting, interesting. So you bet. It's pretty weird. And if he calls, and I mean, well, to be use. fair, that guy cold called this few bet. So he has like usually, usually they have like ace queen or king queen or ninth to jacks or ninth to queens and when they do that. And if he calls, here, he has like. And if he calls, he has. Maybe maybe tens plus, maybe even nines. He might even call with nines because these guys are not that great. But but with like this you're girls, dead, you're dead. And you're dead. I should give up for sure. Yeah, he's never folding on on this brick turn. Only if you're trying, but that is kind of taking it way too far. Like one third turn and then just just jam river. Uh, I think river is a good bet. Uh, sorry, good fold. Okay. Because he's just good. like his range is obviously. It's it's kind of obvious, like Queen's, yeah, he's just value betting. Queen Jack stands. I don't beat his value range with. You don't beat anything Jack. in his range, so yeah, easy fold. Oh shit! <laughs> I stand. All right, so three bets and calls, and you, why do you bet here? Why do you bet here? What does he have in his range that he calls with? Preflop, preflop. Um, kind of yeah, like, kind of like, yeah, like ace, 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 ace queen, queen, ace king, queen, uh, tens plus nines, maybe. So how many Seven. combinations of nines to? How many combos of nines to whatever nines he plus. calls? Yeah, so like nines plus. How many combinations? Nine, six, ten, six. Uh, jacks three and yeah. fifteen queens. 18 combos 15 queens 18 it's it should be 21 i think queens are six combos so 21 right 21 all right so so yeah maybe he 50 percent he yeah, four bets 50 percent he calls so and okay, i'm blocking ace queen so he has lesser combos yeah but why would you try to fold ace queen why wouldn't you just check here yeah because you're I dominating you're dominating ace queen but also you're getting destroyed by any other part of his range I would actually consider check folding here because like it's 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 a drawy like yeah I would actually consider check folding here. Uh get raised, just mock it, insta mock. Wow, you actually shipped it. Why? Why? Because he isn't uh, repping that much when he's raising this flop. He's yeah, I mean why should he raise here? Yeah, true. He might have queens. He might have queens when he raises. Uh, he might have eight x. He might have like eight nine, and he's kind it's of just, sort I of protecting. It's an info base. Yeah, but it's like eight x does need to raise because you only bet like less than half the pot, so he's making it kind of like full pot, just not let you draw for free for, for cheap to the next card. So he could have eight x. Jam is really interesting. Like yeah, sure, the raise does not make that much sense. So jam is really interesting. This is this is a sick play, and I love it, but. Um, <laughs> true. What is he actually repping when he raises? And um, like he wouldn't raise jacks. We put him on ace queen, ace king, and nice to jacks. So 
probably not calling with h7. You might see an occasional h7, you're ahead of flush draws, so yeah, nice, nice shove, nice shove. If you can see these pots, then nice shove. Yeah, it's, it, it, there we go, jack eight eight. I wanna see, I wanna see his stats. I wanna see his stats, though. Yeah, so he looks like a normal. Yeah, rig. and I saw he doesn't fold a lot. Normal rig. Two three bets. Nice shove. That is that is a sick shove. I love it. So he has he has a wide opening range, nineteen percent. Yeah. And he does not fold a lot. Only thirty three percent. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he he's never range. ripping anything. Maybe only like nine ten suited or. Maybe like something like king queen suited or something like that. But if you jam, you might even decide to fold those hands. So not not nine ten suited. Maybe mm, no no no. But you're still you're still like flipping against those draws and you're folding yeah. some. You might decide to do this with nines and tens because calling is horrible. But it's still okay to just shove there. I love the move. I love the move. All right. Um. Were they big, the biggest losses? Because I lost so much. Yeah, the eights. Yeah, here. <laughs> I could fold here, but I think it's a fold. Raise, re raise, and a call. Okay, the call is fine. Fla and floating the flop is fine. It's fine, so. And yeah, I should raise here. Yes. I think. And yeah, this one's a mistake. Mistake. The board pass jams, so. I think I should fold. Uh we could have Ace King. Uh, I think he could have Ace King. I still call. What is what what do you put him on? Only aces? No. Yeah, over bets. He, he no, over it's just jam. it's just a jam, it's not over jam, it's just bot size jam, it's it's fine. Uh, no, honestly, yeah. it doesn't really matter if he bets like five or something he has to behind. It's it's fine. I call pocket eights interesting. I, I never put him on eights there, but they started three betting eights, so nice. Yeah. I think I should raise the turn here. It was it was it was a mistake not to raise here. Yeah. All right, man. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna head off to bed. So I guess uh, like luck. I hope you run. I hope I hope you run better. You've been running bad. Uh, not that many mistakes to be honest. Maybe some some folds here and there. Maybe some uh, not that aggressive. Like kind of lose less and play more. Like lose less, something like that. And yeah, I'll see. I'll see you on next week, same hour. All right. Uh, this was the sixth lesson, I think. No idea. <laughs> no idea. I'll, I'll, right. I'll check it out. Yeah, you got notes on that. On on the uh, on the times. No, I just check out Skype conversations. Okay. So it's, right. it's it's like easy. I see a conversation for our one hour. That's obviously a lesson. So that's like easy to to keep into All account. Right. All right, see you next week. Yeah, man, good luck at good luck. tables. I hope you run a bit better. You've been running bad, but you've been playing pretty good. Pretty good. Some spots I, I really don't agree on. Try to donk more for value. So try to get that as a part of your range. I'm, I've been telling that to a lot of people. And yeah, I'll see you next week. And try to not overplay this game. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks. Right, good man. luck, man. See ya. Subscribe and ring the bell.